Oh, it hooks, it's good. Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Time Z Arm Packet, Hennessy Performance, and behind me here is the Lucid Air Dream Edition, and what we got for you today is a quick review, and of course, Drag Time Style and a Hennessy Performance Testing. This will be the first performance test you've seen on the Lucid Air. This has two motors, 1100 and 11 horsepower. Motor in the front, motor in the back. No one's done any performance testing. We're thinking it goes somewhere in the nines. Now it's got more horsepower than the Plaid. Let's jump in. We're going to talk with Sanjay, the owner of this car. He's got a lot of experience with it. Go over all the kind of cool features and then let's see what the Lucid's all about. About a year ago, we yeah, did the awesome first year. SF90 versus 765LT. He is a huge electric car fan and gas fan. He's got a, a whole host of amazing cars. He actually owns the Plaid the Lucid Air Dream Edition, and the Tacon Turbo S. We're using to go through it because he knows a lot more about the car because you've been driving for a couple weeks miles. now. 800 miles on it. Now, they have two versions of this. One has more range but less horsepower. This is the performance. So this is 1111 horsepower. I think 470 is what they claim range, although I'm okay. seeing like 425 on the right. when it's fully charged. And the non-performance has 930-ish horsepower. Okay. I think the range is 510 or 520. Yeah. But you gotta go for all the horsepower. You gotta go for it. Right? I mean, there's, that's not even a of question. Course, of and you course. gotta get the 21s. If you want the 500 plus mile range, you gotta get the 19s. I mean. Oh, so we gotta get the big wheels. Yeah. All right, so let's check it out real quick. You know, it's got a cool feature on the front when you turn it on. It has a kind of an opening sequence in the front. There you go, we got Lucid. I can see a camera in the front. It does have autopilot features, but I'm told that those are not activated as of yet. So I'm sure there's a full host of software updates coming from the car. You got the usual B-pillar camera, but you've also got the rear view mirror cameras. So when you signal left or right, that will turn on and show up on the side of your speedometer. Okay, left or right. real cool. Yeah, Tesla just came out with an update for that, but you kind of got to look down center screen. to this, the center this, screen. This does it on the, on the center. Okay, cluster. gotcha. So you got a camera there, camera there. I saw a camera in the front. I'm sure you got ca probably cameras up here as well. Yeah, I see a couple there. So this is definitely bigger than the Model S. I would equate it to kind of like a 7 Series BMW. And look at that. It's got a power front hatch. That would be awesome to have in Tesla. We've wanted that for a long time. And you kind of got to close it and it's kind of hard. And because the motors are so tiny, you've got way more space. Oh, there's a ton right. more space in here than the Plaid. Wow. It's kind of like an early P85 car, but the, the rear, right. rear wheel drive ones, they had a big trunk. Like yeah. That. So checking out onto the inside, we'll kind of open up both doors and so you can see kind of the size that you get with this car. What's the color of this? Uh, it's called Eureka Gold. Eureka and Gold. And it's unique only to the Dream Edition. Gotcha. So you can see we got some ambient lighting going on down there. Definitely a lot of leg room. I mean, jumping in here. And, and that's what the front seat. And that's what the back. front seat back. I mean, I got a ton of leg room right here. It is a lot of space. We got a small screen down here. Oh, we got power sun power shades, shades on yeah. the side. Side and rear. Okay, yeah, here we go. So we got rear sunshade. So these are some of the features you see in kind of Mercedes in BMW that kind of... The side ones, I think you have to do them. The side ones we have, are they power as well? Yeah. Another note on the wheels, why would you want to remove the aero bits? I think maybe for track use, it'll get more radial, you know, just cooling. Radial cooling. Okay. So these panels actually pop off and you can kind of see the brakes in there behind there. You want to see the caliper. You want to see, it's got actually got some pretty large brakes in there. There you go. It's a little more aggressive looking without them. Right, but you know, I wonder how much range you lose with those. Yeah. That actually matters quite a bit. They design a lot of these wheels with a lot of aero bits in, in mind. So now we'll hop in the uh, driver's seat and just check out some of the screens. I believe this is a 5K front screen all the way across the front. And we got a normal steering wheel, which is nice. No yoke. What is your opinion, yoke versus regular? You know, I don't mind the yoke. I just don't like the capacitive buttons. That's what really bothers me. Oh, the buttons me. are bad. No, especially flash I agree. Pass. As much as you're flashing left lane squatters in a plaid, that's... And no bad. horn. I like to have a horn here, yeah, too. So I, right? this, I like this better. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Uh, the, the autopilot equivalent will be here. They call it Dream Drive. Okay. It's not active yet. The software's not there gotcha. yet. Gotcha. And then this is your volume control. It's, to me, it reminds me of a K&N conical filter. I don't oh, know yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> right, yeah. But what's nice is you've got redundant 
physical buttons here. So you got volume and temperature and stuff like that. So it's not all on the screen. Oh, Would so you, this is your vo Oh, that's mm -hmm. a nice slider. Yeah, I like yeah. that. So you can see sliding up and down volume. And dual zone climate control. Okay. Which is kind of nice. That's too. definitely nice. So it's a mix of touchscreen and it's buttons, amazing. which is nice. Which is good because this is early software, but the screen's a little laggy at times. Okay. So like I just clicked that. Look, we're still waiting. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Kind of. Okay. Not super fast. Then you've got massage. You got heated seats here. You've got, of course, all the usual climate controls, dual zone. But then if you want to go to, it's and heated and cooled, obviously. And then okay. if you go to your massage, it's a little bit clunky. You got to go here, main screen, then you hit massage. Okay. And then you've got, it's like an S class where you have not just one massage, but all these different types. Okay, there we go. And then when you start it, it puts you on a timer. Oh, I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. So Is it on both sides? It's on both sides. Yeah. So you're feeling it now? No, well, I can peel oh, okay. right now. I'm off, but I can turn it off. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's uh, right, feels it feels nice. It actually feels pretty good. But That's when, cool. When you combine it with the heat, it makes it really nice. Yeah. And this is a really nice resolution screen actually up it here. Is. I believe they said it's 5K. I Did you read so. that too? You can probably uh, put your foot in the brake and signal left and right, see if it puts the cameras on for you. This is a signal? Your regular signal. Oh, regular signals, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, you're left side. I'm gonna oh, the right side. I have to side. probably close the door. There we go. These have soft closed doors? Soft closed doors. Oh, look, see, that's nice touch too. Yeah, very nice, okay. You just signal left and right, and you should be able to see the, the camera. That's your no, camera. signal's over here, yeah. okay. You're not driving the RX-7. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Or maybe put it in gear, foot on the brake. And just we might not with the front open. Let's try it. Just put it in drive. Okay, we're in drive now. So that gives you, you got your full. Oh, so this is nice. We got a full 360 view. Which you can hit the different buttons and see all the perspectives. Oh, and yeah. actually when you move, it actually animates the wheels. The wheels actually spin. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> so you can kind of cycle through here. Yeah. This is kind of, I mean, with all the cameras that these cars have, this is kind of a must have. There's no reason they don't I do mean, it, Tesla's yeah. quite a ways behind with this kind of stuff. That's really cool. Right. And then, uh, let's see, left signal. Yeah, I think, let me, let me I close think we have the to hood. close the hood. Now we can close the front remotely right here, from here. Go to open. Okay. Opening seat says it's open, so we just shut it, motorized nice. down. There now, you go. It should, when you signal left and right, you should get the, uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. So you can either look out the mirror or you can look out right there. And if I go right, where does it show up? That's kind of in my, this is. It's kind of in my, yeah, it's blocking you, a little a bit. The yoke would actually make sense there, right? It would, right? Yeah, I mean, I could move my seat up a little bit and maybe move the steering wheel up yeah. to adjust for that, but uh, yeah, not bad. And of course, that's just like the Taycan. Okay. So now it says driving power reduced. We don't want that, huh? What does that mean? I don't know why it's doing that. I'm sure okay. we'll get out there, it'll be fine. Okay. Some of the infotainment here. So when you when you start out, you're on your home screen here, which just gives you, a, you know, your general stuff. When you go to, you have a choice of nav or stereo or phone. And so this screen is kind of small. I find it not as functional as the Tesla screen. But if you want more information, you can actually drag this down and then it brings it to the oh, lower screen. Oh, that's a nice, that's actually a nice thing. Which yeah. is a very nice thing. But what I would expect it to do is then if I put nav up here, you would leave your radio down here. But for right now, the software is kind of in its infancy. So you go to the nav, it takes a minute to load, which is a little bit uh -huh. slow, but then it puts it on both screens. So you can do the same thing here where you can you can drag the, the uh, nav up and down but you should be able to have stereo and nav separately i'm sure it'll come out an update but for right now it's yeah quite, almost like where you can move around different modules right and, and another interesting thing you can do is your range map because this car the big claim to fame is the range this is going to show us that is the cloud i can drive you know halfway I through see. oklahoma from there Houston you go. right now wow. i can make it in the you know almost to the alabama, the alabama mark there yeah that almost looks like a weather map right <laughs> exactly i always thought they should have with these all these advanced maps like if you know you're driving into a storm you should see how bad it is and like how long it's going to be there's no reason you can't yeah i bring up ways right. now i bring up like my radar scope and ways and try and overlay what i'm or doing on, on, trips. on the flat you can just put your web browser on and put that's true yeah you can't does this have a web browser as well it doesn't as yet i'm sure okay. it will at some point gotcha but not yet so down here you've got your standard screen uh, we'll go back to the this. So over here, this is your main thing. You have your driving modes. Smooth. It defaults to smooth every time. It doesn't like the plaid will stay in plaid. Okay. This will not. So you go back to. So these are like chill mode, mm -hmm. fast and like exactly. real fast. Okay. Exactly. And it, it's actually tied into the suspension as well. So like what I like doing on the plaid or even on the Taycan, I want full power, snappy throttle, but soft suspension. Right. On this one, right now they're linked. So you get if you want. Sprint, you also get the stiffer suspension. Okay. You can't unlink them, but again, early software. Sure. Now, does it change any displays when you're in different modes? It changes some colors and themes okay. and things like That's that. Kind of, and then yeah. Sprint, it actually requires you to, the lawyers have their little screen here. Okay, Sprint. So enables yeah. maximum power and torque, recommended by skilled advanced drivers. That's definitely you. <laughs> um, and Lucid Summer Tires and installed. Lucid, so then you, you confirm it. Okay. 
and then you're in sprint mode. Now we're in so sprint which is mode. what we'll be using later. Okay, now, did none of this changes but, up here. But as far as what you were asking earlier about the themes, yeah. that's where you, so right now you can see a little bit of the, the color, you got the, the LEDs here. Right. And they're also, you can see them in the door, the door pulls. Yeah, I can see area. them down here, yeah. When the dark you see it better. So that's escape, then you have wonder, which I Oh, look this, at this. This kind of matches the outside of the car. Sure. That's the color, and it's the same thing up here. You get. Yeah, your, you can see it changing in the back too. Yeah. It's actually, wow, that, that really back seat, big back seat mm -hmm. back there. And then, uh, so what's the power? That's, uh, I think that just turns everything on. Oh, just the okay, gotcha. Power. And then, uh, Space. And then you've got all these different themes and stuff that you can do. Okay. But, and then that's that's basically it here. And then the only other thing is your charging menu. And then the other thing it'll do, which gives you some extra space. So it's it, it, we started at 425, and it's okay. just been sitting for a day. We're down to 395. The car hasn't even been driven. So a little phantom so drain. A little bit of drain. Okay. Yeah. And then if you need some more space, one thing you do is retract this screen. Oh, look at that. So you've got a little cubby. It's kind of hard to see in there, but. There you go. Oh, so it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good size. Okay. So for Texas, you keep uh, exactly. your standard Texas stuff That's in there? Right. You okay. Know, you know. <laughs> and then you've got nice wood and the, the, the materials, you've got this wood here. Yeah. And then you've got, and what the other thing is nice is I love having physical buttons. Yeah. Physical to move the air. It's not yeah. having a good with touch screen. Not having a touch screen. And it's got some interesting fabrics down here. They're, they're I noticed that on the door. Well. It's got like There's a Alcantara, Alcantara panel and here. like a linen or and something. Like a, yeah, and like some a. Some kind of a. Like a like 1980s a, suit right? or something and like that. And then all nice Alcantara up here. Mm -hmm. One notices it's got a full glass roof here, and they just kind of stick on the uh, visors here in the X. I think they come up from the side, which they, would have been nicer because when you fold it to the side, uh -huh. the X you don't have this. Yeah, you got a little so nodule that's right not there. Ideal, right? But, uh, yep. But still, I mean, inside, not gonna lie, it's yeah. very high quality. I mean, I would say it's it's definitely a little step up of luxury above what you would expect yes. in the tesla it's definitely a different take on it and that also um, is translate on the road it just the, the impact harshness the smoothness right. it's just it's solid it feels like a good solid german sedan a yeah. little bit smoother than the tesla it feels fast if not, well I, we, we drive we'll plaids. find out we we'll drive plaids out. yeah it still feels fast plaids ferraris sf90s i mean we got them all but i mean with 1100 horsepower may, i think it weighs a little bit more than the plaid it's 400 pounds it's 400 pounds heavier 200 versus 48 okay. So with an extra hundred, I don't know if that makes it up at all of it, but it makes up for some of it. Yeah, I don't think it makes that much up. No? It's, fa it's fast. Well, I think uh, that's a really good overview of kind of inside. I think we should take it for a drive, just get a little experience on that. How do you lower this pack down? You just touch it? Hit that button, that little arrow. That little arrow, okay. It's almost like an iPad. Mm -hmm. Just, wow, very nice. And then, of course, where do you go to the modes again to get the sprint? Hit that main button. Main button. Oh, and we're already there, so we go to themes. Themes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We want to go to the modes, so oh. we go back to... Uh, there we go. So we're still in sprint. We're still in yeah, sprint we mode. Shut the car off. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And then this is for parking. Mm -hmm. That's your 360 view, which we kind of looked at that. Mm -hmm. And then audio, it's got all the. So if I want to go to audio. So you go back, we, we close, close this that out, out. And we go. So audio is essentially. Oh, I uh, see a radio button there. there. So you click on that. So that brings and then we got AM, FM, Bluetooth, Spotify. And it's got title. Title. Which I guess Tesla now we has. We did that. just get that. I don't Tesla even know what that's like a high quality streaming it's, service. It's better, than, it's better than Spotify just okay. because, for the audio file. Gotcha. It looks and like we have another page. And then, if you, cast. and then if you want to have more information, then you just slide it down and then you get and it then down. you get here, back so over you, here. You can scroll through. Okay, gotcha. And then and then here, this is this is all your so this is basically it actually has things like facial recognition, like your, okay. like your old like an old iPhone would. So what and, to drive the car looks mm -hmm, at your face? Yep. So you don't need a key? That's right. Really? That's right. It's got a camera because it's got a camera to monitor driver drowsiness. Okay. So where's that camera? camera at? Uh, it's probably up here so you have think. to look up here have you tried it yet i have the facial because, recognition well i haven't the facial recognition programmed itself but because there's no autopilot yet it okay it hasn't uh, been brought on okay so gotcha all right but it does have if you go to safety and security i think it has well not that one it has so for dream drive you got your drowsy driver distracted driver, mm -hmm. but i haven't tried all that out okay it hasn't, it Blind hasn't. spot warning visual audio speed mm -hmm. limit alert lane pressure protection cruising speed update let's see applications those are the kind of it's audio got Alexa, stuff. So you can use, oh, it's got Alexa. use Alexa. Okay. And then the one slight disappointment I have so far is the audio system. It's supposed to be you know, just amazing thing, which the imaging is good, uh -huh. but it doesn't have an equalizer yet, so you can't adjust your frequencies, and okay. the bass is a little weak. It doesn't have okay. the mid, like the Plaid stereo, and the Taycan Burmester especially yeah. is awesome. Okay. But the Plaid is okay. This is not as good. Gotcha. Yeah, Plaid's got like a 22 speaker, mm -hmm. big solvable for And it's got decent like mid bass in the doors, whereas right. this, it's, it's a little lacking. Maybe they can fix that with software. Probably in software. Yeah, I'm sure they can easily add some 
some um because even the tesla only stuff. got the subwoofer output later on with an upgrade, right so hopefully yeah so no autopilot yet yeah but Real that's coming did they tell you when they said january but it has cruise control uh Probably. I haven't tried it. Haven't That's tried that? Question. So it probably has like a distance. Well, I'll tell you, those no buttons don't, don't work yet. So I don't. None of these way. buttons uh, work they, yet. They just don't do anything yet. Okay. Although it just got a new software update before we brought it out here. So okay. it's possible. So these aren't haptic. They're real buttons. Mm -hmm. they're real, they look like they should be. They look like they're haptic. And then I think that the, the left wheel will be for the probably the distance. Yeah. That's a nice that feel. The buttons have yeah. a nice. And if you tap feel it, that's them. actually a button in the thing. And okay. that will, that'll pause the music. That so pause the pause music up and down. Then there's another volume knob up here, which is, is kind of cool. I like that. Nothing on the back of the steering Nothing wheel. The back, yeah. And you got real stocks, so you can use turn signals without having to look for things. And steering wheel adjustment is through the main menu. So you have to go here okay. and you go to uh, steering. So then it's all done via... Yeah. Kind of like the Tesla. Kind of like the Tesla, except you don't, yeah. use the, you don't use the wheel buttons. So we got soft closed doors. This is a uh, electrical release that pops out, but if there was a power problem, you would actually pull... Oh, oh yeah, I can feel it. Feel There's another really stop right there to open it all the way. Um, so that's pretty cool, too. And of course, yeah, soft-closed doors. That's yeah. that's a really nice car to have. The sticker on this price was 168000 So a little more than the Plaid. Yeah, quite a bit 15, more. 15000 yeah. 20000 more. Trunk is like this whole back piece that kind of opens up. That's remote-controlled as well. So a little less flexible, I think, than the Tesla. And not, not Almost being a like hatchback. the Model 3, because it's, it's not, not a hatchback, a, right? But it's so. got quite a bit of space, because again, the motors are so small, you got all the Right, oh yeah, it's a big, big, big compartment down here, and, and then in there. in there. And does that drop down to have a pass-through if you need? It, it looks like it. It does, yeah, it does. I and the seats fold down? The seats fold down. Okay. And then you've got redundant brake lights, so that's required by law, because the other brake lights, when the trunk lid is up, you wouldn't Oh yeah, look at that. Yours. Yeah, it's definitely a weird, trunk piece like the whole trunk kind of pops up back there nice low lift over yeah we got a glass roof looks like almost spaces for a roof rack if you wanted yeah. to right there and this is all aluminum no matter what color you get the roof is all, is all aluminum okay gotcha all right so the charging ports over on the left side here this is the kind of the charging port that everyone uses but Tesla. So if you use both sides, it goes up to how fast? This is a J1772 port. So it'll, because it's a 900 volt architecture, on a, on a rapid charge, it could take 350. Oh, wow. 350? 350. 350. Okay, so Electrify America, I think that's 350. They do in theory, although finding one is another story. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, because the Taycan was 800 volt. The so that's that's 300, though. Tesla's are right? Four. That'll do, I think. 250-ish. Oh, but I yeah. thought they said 300 at the beginning. I've never seen it do more than 250. Okay. Porsche may say something different. I've okay. actually seen 250 briefly out of the plaids, just real briefly. But the key, the key thing is, it's kind of like horsepower. It's yeah, not just yeah, yeah. The peak, it's area under the curve. They I've definitely seen fast. 250 out of mine, but yeah. only when it's low on charge, only for a couple the minutes. Problem with Electrify America is even the ones that say 350 a lot of times don't deliver it. So I got gotcha. I haven't seen, it. but this okay. is that was 800 volt. This is 924 volt. Right. So they, in theory, you can accept 350 watts gotcha. of power. Gotcha. Gotcha. Kilowatt, kilowatts of power. All right, so we're going to go out and test the Lucid Air. And then, I mean, look what we got in back of me here. We got John Hennessy, and he has, he's going electric too, right? Because of you. <laughs> <laughs> he just bought a brand new Plaid, and then Sanjay brought his Taycan Turbo S. Hey, so man, three cars with almost 3,000 horsepower. That's crazy. What could I, possibly go wrong? I know, right? So I think, uh, I think we might have to line these up. Let's see what happens uh, after we get a test out of the Lucid. All right, so I'm about to do the first test on the Lucid Air, 1111 horsepower. Uh, we have it in sprint mode, tests with the launch control. Basically, there's nothing to do. There's no warm-ups or waiting for the battery to heat up. You just left foot brake it and apply the throttle. And what you get is this right here. It says sprint launch mode activated with a little bear and a flag. And then we will be off and running. Launch control activated. Go. Oh, it hooks. It's good. Oh, it hooks. It's good. 30. 60. Quarter mile. Wow. It feels good. No doubt. Brakes are good. You gotta, definitely got to get on the brakes. This car's going 150 right there. All right. So what are the guesses? 985. 985. 972. 972. I'm going to say a 9... 9, 8, 4. 10, 9, 2. 10, 2. 
Ten two. Bring on the that's, Tycon. That's what it felt like. Yeah, wow. That's so okay. what was the mile an hour? One forty three. Okay. So it's got well, a lot more a tailwind. with a tailwind. Yeah. That's a lot more mile an hour than Tycan. It's a lot more mile an hour. It's just the launch. It's the just launch. Uh, you spun. I'm telling you, spun you, you spun. Yeah. You spun. Yeah, but not a lot. Sixty zero to sixty was two point nine, two point seven with okay. the rollout. What do they say? Two point five. To yeah. 60? Yeah. So it's not far off what they say. Yeah, so I, I told um, you it doesn't feel that much faster than Taycan. So now, wow. Taycan and this is going to be a great And that was with launch mode. It had the little blue bear. It had the little blue bear and everything, yeah. The only thing is maybe we could try 0-60 farther up and see if it doesn't spin like on the blacktop. 